Silent recorder, holy recorder, how do we play this song? Answer, it's easy. It's actually really, really easy, so don't don't worry about it. I've been teaching for a long time, and playing Silent Night on recorder is not that hard. Maybe something your fifth graders don't get to. Maybe um, if you're new, you won't, don't want to try this, but there are parts you can definitely try, especially the uh, beginning section. And so today, we're going to talk about how to play Silent Night on recorder in just a few easy steps. Let's get to it. All right, let's start with the notes. We have to know the notes. Now, there's a lot of notes in this song, but they're all natural notes. There's no altered notes. Um, so let's get into it. Starting with the easy ones. We'll start with low C. So we're going to need low C, which is thumb on the back. Pointer, middle ring finger, left hand on top. Switch hands, four, five, six, and seven. Every hole except for the top one and the bottom one are covered. So this is low C. You'll also need to know low D. Thumb, one, two, three. Other hand, four, five, six. Right here. It's like low C, but you pick up the pinky finger. Now you need to know low E. Thumb, one, two, three. Other hand, this is your right hand. Four and five, here's low E. You'll also need to know low F. Low F is a little bit trickier, so watch closely. Thumb, one, two, three. Right hand, four, skip five, six, and seven. It's kind of silly, but this is how you do low F, right here, just like this. All right, next is G. Getting easier now. Thumb, one, two, three. Left hand on top, A. Thumb, one, two. B, thumb and one, and now we're going to go to high C, which is thumb and middle finger on the second hole. Still not very hard. High D is picking up that thumb, so it's middle finger only on the second hole. Of course, left hand on top. All right, now we need to go to high E and high F, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you're going to need to know the half hole technique, okay? To play any of your lower notes, up the octave to its higher version on the back where the thumb hole is you usually have this covered but now you're only going to pretend this is my thumb half cover it with your thumb and you're going to intensify the air don't overblow just give it a little more oomph and it'll jump up so if i want to play high e what i do is i finger low e thumb one two three right hand four five for low E, and now I'm going to half hole the back. So here's low E, half hole the back, and maybe just slightly more intense air to help it go. And all I'm doing is moving my thumb up and down slightly, all right? So that's high E. High F is much the same. You finger a low F, one thumb, one, two, three, other hand, four, skip five, six, and seven. You can leave off seven if you want to, if it helps you. And then you're going to half hole the thumb. So here's low F. So I'm moving my pinky up, but more importantly, I'm doing that half hole back there. So those are the notes you need to know. Take some time to practice those, especially the high F and the high E before you dig into the song. So now next up is the first step. Let's go. First four measures, we're in three, four times. So our counting is gonna be like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. First up, we see a dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. So the rhythm is gonna go like this. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Just trust me. It sounds like this. Let's give it a shot. The first part's pretty easy. Here we go. Pause it, rewind it, slow it down, practice it. Not too bad. Let's go on to the second step. Next step, we're looking at the next four measures of the first section. This, this one isn't too hard. We have a lot of notes that we still know um, pretty well. We've learned early on. The hardest part here is switching from high D, which is just the middle finger, no thumb, from high D to B. To do that, we have to switch those fingers, putting down the pointer and the thumb, going from D to B. You might want to practice just those notes switching back and forth. All right? Here's what it sounds like.
not too bad. All right, if you're looking at the sheet music, we're looking at measures 9 through 12, and that's going to repeat. So once we learn it once, we only... What's up, puppy? My dog's walking by. Once we learn it once, we don't have to learn it again. All right, this one starts on A. It's actually almost easier than the last section because it doesn't have that D to B switch. The only hard part here is going from A to C and then back to B. So remember, A is thumb one, two. Going to C, we just pick up our pointer finger. Then going to B, we're going to switch the middle and the pointer finger going from C to B. And unlike when we play high D, the thumb stays down for this one. Here's the second section. I don't know why, I like to do a little flutter there at the end. I think it sounds cool. All right, here we are. This is it. This is the hard part, but it's not hard if you've spent your time practicing that high F and the high E. Remember that half hole technique back there, all right? So let's look at measures 13 through 16 especially. We're going to start on high D. Then we're going to jump to high F, which means we're going to have to put down our going from middle finger only to half hole the thumb. One, two, three, four, and skip five, six for the high F. So that, and then we're going to have to go back. So it's worth your while to practice just doing D to high F and back again. Until it's easy. Same thing with C, going from C to E. It's a little bit easier. But from C, which you have thumb and middle finger only, you're going to have to switch to half hole and then finger E. One, two, three, right hand, four, five. Because that's going to happen again. So here is 13 through 16. And I'm going to tag on the last three measures as well. Just because that's not too hard. You've played something like that before. And on that last note that low C tip tip you have to make sure you cover the holes and you play with very soft air let's play it together two three here we And that's how you play Silent Night on the recorder. Now, don't go yet, because I have some really cool stuff I want you to check out. Now, if you're interested in learning more about recorder and other music-related things, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. But I do want to point out to you that I'm working on something really cool. Um, today, I spent quite a few hours arranging a, um, a very famous video game-related song into a trio for recorder. Now, I just have to, like learn the song and put it on the YouTube. So I'm really excited for that and I hope that you stick around to see it, but you'll never see it if you don't subscribe. So subscribe and until next time, keep on playing.